Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Jason here. Um, uh, sorry I've been away for a little bit, but uh, top of tonight is the Houston Supercross 2015. Um, like I do, I do all the time, you know, it's just my thoughts, my opinions. Um, but the Houston Supercross track, I just saw a layout. It's kind of funky looking, you know. It's uh, you take off the start, and you make a left hander, and you got uh, a rhythm section, another left hander, uh, over and under. But the track kind of double back on itself on the start. Um, crisscrossing the, well not crisscrossing, but you kind of. It's just going to be interesting. I, I did a track map uh, below. Uh, Motocross Action did a track map. And I posted a, the link below. Um, but, you know, y'all tell me y'all's opinion of it. Uh, I really think lappers is, is going to be a problem because how the track comes back on the start is kind of... Um, I, I, I haven't seen anything like it so far. Um, but it's definitely going to be an interesting race. Um, also, uh, you know, besides the Houston, I mean, my predictions for Houston right now is, who cares? Everybody's ready for the outdoors, <laughs> to be honest, you know, uh, who cares? But, you know, they're still racing, but most of these drivers, I think they're preparing for the outdoors. They're getting their, their sponsors and stuff like that set. You know, yeah, they got finish out Supercross, but I think most of these drivers are itching for outdoors. But uh, 450 Eli, you know, I'm still pulling for Eli. I think Eli could pull it out. Uh, 250, anybody's game right now. Anybody. But uh, also another topic is uh, Ken Roxon and Will Hahn are back on the bike. Uh, there's video posted them riding uh, uh, for out, riding outdoors. You know, getting their bike ready and set up. And I got that link posted below if y'all want to go check them out and uh, look at their uh, how they're riding. Roxon still looks fast, like he ain't lost anything. Uh, Will Hahn. <sighs> He slowly got to get back, um, but he still looked good on the bike. I mean, still looked good on the bike, um, but he's slowly, you know, coming back. Um, also, there's another video of Tyler Rattray and uh, RV practicing over in Europe. I posted that video link below. Um, Rattray has picked up his speed. I mean, he's, to be honest, in my opinion, I couldn't tell the difference between him and RV riding I mean his style Rattray style is just like RV his speed is just like RV um, I'm looking for Rattray to you know be up there in the, in the GPs but his style everything he's even you know drop weight like <laughs> it's not the same Tyler Rattray we saw here in the States um, by far, he's he, he's not the same guy. Um, but I posted that video below. Uh, I also like to give a shout out to one of the mechanics, uh, Brandon Anderson. Uh, his videos on motocross uh, action uh, website. Um, I've been pulling for this guy a long time, y'all. He's he's been paying his dues uh, through amateur ranks. He was this guy that you saw at the Supercross or Outdoor Nationals or at the practice track. The camera's like panning around and you catch a glimpse of a guy and you're like, hey, who's that? Um, he he was spent many years doing practice. Uh, he was a practice bike mechanic. Um, he was out of work uh, for a while after uh, uh, Andrew Short and one of my buddies in in uh, down in Florida, uh, that you know, is in the Stewart uh, camp. I told him, I said, "Hey, uh, see if you can get uh, Brandon, you know, on, you know, a job or something. You know, this guy, he's he's putting it together, he's doing it." 
And my buddy's like, Brandon's already down here. He's working with Malcolm. And I'm like, that's that's right on, right on. But uh, I just like to give a shout out, you know, where where it's due. Brandon has paid his dues. He's he's doing it, and you know, he's just a he's just a good dude. I mean, just a good dude. And in case y'all ain't know who I'm talking about, he's uh he is um uh Baggett's mechanic for Suzuki. But uh anyway guys that's all I have for this week is Houston is going to be interesting because of the track layout um, I, I've never seen the track where it takes off the start gate and come back around and then you kind of graze the start gate coming back towards the start gate and then on almost the last lap I think it is or not last lap but anyway you come back on the start gate again so you got lappers they're kind of you know it's one lane here so i don't know it's just going to be interesting especially with lappers and the 450 and the 250 class or whatnot but uh anyway guys thanks for tuning in uh subscribe um and also if y'all ever want to you know come to the 828 morganton marion statesville denver uh, Aaron, y'all want to ride with me? I'm off on Mondays and Wednesdays. We'll go do it up. I got tracks uh, here, you know, little private tracks I ride. You know, the 828 is the new Florida. It's the new California. If you want to ride track, supercross, or woods, the 828, we got it. We got it here. But anyway, and we got some fast riders. Um, they, they might not get exposure as Florida or California, but this little area, the 828 and the 704 in Chesterfield, South Carolina, and uh, uh, Florence, South Carolina, uh, we got it on lock. I mean, we got the training facilities. Like I said, it's the new California or the new Florida, if you want to come ride. But if y'all guys want to ride with me, hit me up. But anyway, y'all guys be safe, and uh, let me know y'all's opinion after uh, Houston Supercross. Bye.